In the name of Allah, the All-Beneficent, the All-Merciful, O you who have faith, do not take my enemy and your enemy for friends, secretly, offering them affection. For they have certainly defied whatever has come to you of the truth, expelling the Apostle and you, because you have faith in Allah, your Lord. If you have set out for jihad in my way and to seek my pleasure, you secretly nourish affection for them. While I know well whatever you hide, and whatever you disclose, and whoever among you does that has certainly strayed from the right way. If they were to confront you, they would be your enemies, and would stretch out against you their hands and their tongues with evil intentions, and they are eager that you should be faithless. Your relatives and your children will not avail you on the day of resurrection. He will separate you from one another, and Allah sees best what you do. There is certainly a good exemplar for you in Abraham and those who were with him when they said to their own people, Indeed, we repudiate you, and whatever you worship beside Allah, we disavow you. And between you and us there has appeared enmity and hate forever, unless you come to have faith in Allah alone, except for Abraham's saying to his father, I will surely plead forgiveness for you, though I cannot avail you anything against Allah. Our Lord, in you do we put our trust, and to you do we turn penitently, and toward you is the destination. Our Lord, do not make us a trial for the faithless and forgive us. Our Lord, indeed you are the Almighty, the All-Wise. There is certainly a good exemplar for you in them, for those who look forward to Allah and the last day, and anyone who refuses to comply should know that. Indeed, Allah is the All-Sufficient, the All-Laudable. It may be that Allah will bring about between you and those with whom you are at enmity, affection. And Allah is all-powerful and Allah is all-forgiving, all-merciful. Allah does not forbid you in regard to those who did not make war against you on account of religion and did not expel you from your homes, that you deal with them with kindness and justice. Indeed, Allah loves the just. Allah forbids you only in regard to those who made war against you on account of religion and expelled you from your homes and supported others in your expulsion, that you make friends with them, and whoever makes friends with them, it is they who are the wrongdoers. O you who have faith, when faithful women come to you as immigrants, test them. Allah knows best the state of their faith. Then, if you ascertain them to be faithful women, do not send them back to the faithless. They are not lawful for them, nor are they lawful for them. And give them what they have spent for them. There is no sin upon you in marrying them. When you have given them their dowries, do not hold on to conjugal ties with faithless women. Ask the infidels for what you have spent, and let the faithless ask for what they have spent. That is the judgment of Allah. He judges between you and Allah is all-knowing, all-wise. If anything pertaining to your wives is not reclaimed from the faithless, and then you have your turn, then give to those whose wives have left the like of what they have spent, and be wary of Allah, in whom you have faith. O Prophet, if faithful women come to you to take the oath of allegiance to you, pledging that they shall not ascribe any partners to Allah, that they shall not steal, nor commit adultery, nor kill their children, nor utter any slander, that they may have intentionally fabricated, nor disobey you in what is right. Then accept their allegiance and plead for them to Allah for forgiveness. Indeed, Allah is all-forgiving, all-merciful. O you who have faith, do not befriend a people at whom Allah is wrathful. They have despaired of the hereafter, just as the faithless have despaired of the occupants of the graves.